Welcome to the Powerful Marketing Tips Podcast, created for overwhelmed business owners who want to build, run, and organize their marketing for good. And here are your hosts, Marilise and Laura. Hi, it's Laura here. Today I want to talk to you really quickly about Google Analytics, which is a free software that enables you to track your website traffic and analyze what people are doing on your website. Well, you may or may not already know this, but a while back, Google announced that they are going to sunset the current Google Analytics Universal, and they have introduced a new solution called Google Analytics 4. Why is this important to you, you may ask? Well, if you have a website and you have Google Analytics Universal set up right now, it will not automatically transfer into Google Analytics 4. You have to set it up again from scratch because the principles of what and how is tracked are completely different. You have until July 1st, 2023 to set it up, and after that, your existing Google Analytics Universal stops working. And even though July may sound like it's far, far away, the time to act is now, so that your new Google Analytics 4 has enough time to gather historical data, and you will not lose all of your history. So what are the main differences of the new Google Analytics 4? First of all, it is built to be easier, more flexible, user-friendlier, and it can combine data from both your website and also your app. It provides much more accurate cross-device insights, which means people visiting your website from multiple devices. And if you have multiple domains, then cross-domain tracking will also become much easier. Number two, it uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to predict how users on your website will act. And it is more focused on a user's journey. Number three, some current metrics like bounce rate and average session duration will no longer be available as new metrics are introduced to help you better understand user behavior. So these metrics include engagement rates, engaged sessions, and also average engagement time. Number four, goals are out. Instead, they now use the word conversion, and these are all event-based, meaning they are triggered by action. So if the same user fills out a form three times, you will have three conversions, not just one like it was previously available with goals. Also, there are already some automatic events set up for you, so you can start tracking right away. And this is just the most basic overview of the changes. There are, of course, a lot more, but this seemed the most important to me. But how to set it up, you may ask. Well, if you have a complex website with many nuances and events that need to be tracked, the easiest way is to contact a specialist who can set this all up for you. All you need to do is give them access to your Google Analytics account and also to your website so that they can install the new measurement ID. Or alternatively, you can try to set it up yourself. Google has created many tutorials and step-by-step guidelines, so it is possible to do it. I have personally done it, and it was okay if you're a little bit tech savvy. (laughs) In any case, don't leave this to the last minute, because data is what helps you to make better decisions. I wish you good luck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day, evening, morning, whatever the time it is for you right now. Take care, and bye. Well, that's all we've got for this episode of the Powerful Marketing Tips podcast. But make sure to link up with us at our free monthly international mastermind event. Just go to powerful-marketers.com forward slash mastermind. We would really appreciate it if you would rate this podcast and leave a comment wherever you tune in to listen. That will help us and other potential uh, new listeners. Until next time.